Welcome everyone to set up iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's start by flicking up from the bottom of the screen like this. We now need to select our language and then the country or region in which we reside in. Once we do this, it's going to ask us for the appearance. If you slide this across, you can change the size of everything on screen. I'm personally going to use the default. If you have any accessibility needs, you can tap on the accessibility icon here, and then you can turn on any accessibility feature that you may need to turn on. Then we see here Quick Start. If you have an old iPhone that you want to transfer data from, leave this iPhone on this screen and then use Quick Start and it will help you easily transfer data. I have a dedicated tutorial on transferring data that goes more in depth, covers all issues to fix in the description and I would recommend you watch that if you want to use Quick Start. If you don't want to use Quick Start, let's tap on Set Up without another device. From here, it's going to ask us to choose a Wi-Fi network. If you have a USA model of iPhone 15 Pro Max, you will need to activate eSIM and that would require you connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you have an international iPhone 15 Pro Max, you have the SIM card slot and if you don't want to connect to Wi-Fi, insert your SIM card now and then you'll be able to use mobile data to proceed. Once you have connected to Wi-Fi, the iPhone will now activate. We now see here, data and privacy, and we're going to tap on continue. If it's asking you to enter in the old owner's login, contact the seller of your iPhone and ask them to remove the lock. If they can't remove the lock, return the iPhone as you can't use it. We see here, set up iPhone, and we have the option to set up for ourselves or to set up for a child. I'm going to select set up for myself. Now it wants us to enter face ID. And this is the uh, 3D scanning system, which is gonna help you unlock your iPhone. It's a very secure authentication system. And if you tap on continue, you just need to move your head around. So let's tap on continue and get started. And so I'm gonna put my face in the frame and just rotate your head like this. And then the face ID has been added. You can see if you want, you can have face ID work with a mask, but this requires a second scan. So I'm gonna select don't use face ID with mask and then we'll select continue. Now we need to create an iPhone passcode. By default, it wants you to use a six number passcode, but if you select passcode options, you can change the lock. I personally use a four digit passcode. And if you ever find my iPhone on the floor, 5813 is the pin I always use, even on my cards. Now we see here, transfer your apps and data. I would recommend you watch my dedicated tutorial on transferring data as the launch model of iPhone 15 Pro Max requires you do a software update and there's some issues you may run across which that tutorial covers. So that one is in the description, but not everyone has an old iPhone laying around that they want to transfer data from. So the don't transfer anything here. Now it wants us to enter in our Apple ID login. Entering in your Apple ID is great because you can sign into iCloud, App Store, iMessage, FaceTime. Most services on your iPhone require an Apple ID. So I'm going to enter in my login now. Now it's asking us to agree to the terms and conditions. You must agree to these conditions to use your iPhone. And you can see it's also signing me in to my Apple ID account. We see here, make this your new iPhone. Let's select continue. And we'll just give this a couple of seconds. We now see here, set up mobile service. 
if you have a US model of iPhone, it's, it's possible this screen would be earlier in your setup. I have a dedicated tutorial on how to activate eSIM. It covers all the issues you may have, and I'll have that one in the description. For this video, I'm going to select setup later, but if you do need help, make sure that you follow the activate eSIM guide in the description. So it's asking us to add my card, which was in Apple Wallet before. I'm going to skip this. This is Apple Pay, and you can always set up Apple Pay in the settings. So we see here, improve Siri and dictation. I'm going to select not now. It's essentially asking us to send data and iPhone analytics. I'm going to select don't share. Now it's saying you can toggle silent mode in the control center. To get into the control center, they won't let you do it now, but you swipe down from the far right hand side. I will show you when the phone is on the home screen. So let's select continue. On iPhone 15 Pro series, we have the action button. And so this is the side button. And if you long press this, you can see we can turn on or off silent mode. But we can tap on customize to change what it will do. So it can open a camera, which so if I continue here, won't let us do it now, but when the phone is set up, it will. We see emergency SOS. We can only tap on continue for this and then swipe up to get started. So let's swipe down from the far right hand side. And this is where the sign up mode is located. We can tap to turn on or off. And if we long press the side button, it will do the action we require, such as opening an app. Boom, there we go. And if you need to learn anything with your iPhone 15 Pro Max, search your query into YouTube and you will almost certainly find a tutorial created by me, which will cover in depth how to fix it. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description and my other videos. Bye bye.